Good morning, adventurers from Alamogordo, where we are, check this out, at the New Mexico Space Museum. We're gonna be checking out some cool stuff here, including some rockets and uh, some different things from NASA. Before we even enter in, there is a stop for the first astro chimp ever. So this is basically the grave site of him, the chimp. This chimp was launched into space in 1961 as a part of the space program and proved that life could exist in space, which is kind of cool. Now the reason for the chimp being here in New Mexico, in this beautiful mountain area, is because he was originally trained right outside of Alamogordo at Holloman. Now you have probably seen my videos previously about Holloman when we went there and checked out the missile range. Yep, there's a lot of kooky things that go on in that desert, but um, apparently him, the space chimp, is one of them. So in this tiny suitcase, they pack 842 pounds of moon rocks. I can't even pack like four pairs of shoes in there. Crazy. Here we have a series of all of the patches. It's a little strange to me that the people here are to scale of how big they would have been in the rocket. This guy has no room at all. None. This is pretty cool. So I saw it and it said crystal. So I had to stop. But then I started reading and they create these crystals while in orbit and they're used for all sorts of like really good things like drug manufacturing to prevent cancer and fight other diseases. It's crazy, really crazy. A while ago we saw the graveside of Ham the monkey and right now here is his space suit. It is so cute, look at this. Look, it's a little monkey space suit. And this was his little capsule. It's so tiny. Like, look at this. It's like a hiking pack. But he has a little thing in here. And there's a training facility over here. And a video about how they trained him. It's pretty interesting. Several chimps to undergo free flight training. Each is outfitted from head to toe with his own space suit as he awaits the big day. On one hand, it's really cool that the space chimp went up and he did the awesome thing. On the other hand, I would be really, 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 as an animal lover, upset to know how many of them didn't make the cut. pretty cool because it talks about how they have these little tiny sensors now that have changed everything and before these tiny sensors were made possible it took something like this so the modernization of computers has changed everything when it comes to navigation what is this section over here is currently under construction so they're modernizing and changing some things up but um we can't go there yet 
you know, it is what it is. I would be really interested to see what kind of things that they're putting out in these sections that they're working on, so I may have to come back. definitely have to go down there in just a few minutes and check that out. Until then, onward we go. This room has a really cool, interesting depiction of the suits that you might have seen, and some of these are really cool pieces of art. This obviously is part of the new exhibit because uh, it's backlit, it looks nice, it's more modern, so it's pretty cool. And I really like the attention to detail because it shows you kind of a day in the life of these people. So it's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. It reminds me of the little freeze-dried meals that we take camping with us sometimes. Of course, you can't have water in space, so it kind of makes sense. Although the heads on some of those, a little strange. So that was just talking about Crystal Jackson, who was one of the original 47 NASA artists, and she basically painted the history of NASA over the years, which is pretty neat. Okay, we made it to level one, which looks to be really cool. I think we're gonna put on a space suit and become an astronaut for the day in this little area over here. So we're gonna check that out. We can also sit in one of the little devices. I don't know, I'm not a NASA person. So uh, we're gonna go down here and check out some gear. something you could weigh yourself on earth or the moon and I don't know that I want to know how much I weigh in either place but if you do for only a quarter you can find out how much you weigh awesome not After three failed rocket attempts, I have just deduced I am not a rocket scientist. Not my strong point. I'll leave it to the pros. Yeah, I think that's the safest bet for the rest of the world at least. Bunny is not a rocket ship designer. I can barely make a paper airplane, let's be real. Okay, we came outside. We're gonna explore all this cool stuff down here now. And uh, it's pretty neat, if I do say so myself. Now the cool thing about coming out here is you can see each one of the signs that tell you about each piece. So all of these had to do with space and exploration and checking them out up close and personal is something that most people don't get an opportunity to do. So getting to come out here and check out the Igor and then read exactly what it did, how it contributed, that's pretty neat. I'm going across to check out something called the Whisper Dish. Basically, you can stand in this dish and there's this little bitty circle you can talk into and they can hear you at the other Whisper Dish across the way. So, I'm gonna step in and then we're going to get to hear some things. Let's check this out. Okay. I want to say that the whisper dish is probably, hmm, probably about 30 yards away from each other and I could hear a whisper 
all because of the way that it's shaped. It's pretty neat. Let's just do a size comparison. I am five feet seven inches tall. This is a rocket engine. It is two of me tall. Two of me tall. A lot of times when we think about NASA and space travel and things like that, we think of people in space suits and we tend to forget the unmanned crafts that we have. In fact, there's tons of them and they've been going up for years. This one was all the way back in 1956. So just imagine how technology has changed since then. So I think with that being said, I'm gonna head to the car. We've got a lot of things to do today. I have seen some cool things and my brain has new wrinkles. So thanks for getting new brain wrinkles with me guys. Let's head off to our next adventure. If you liked today's adventure, make sure that you leave a comment in the box of your favorite part. Bye guys. Bye. Yeah, I knew we were getting out of here for a good reason. Look at that, snakes. Nope, we're done, bye.